The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Hello and welcome, Season 2, Episode 3. We've got a coach. This, unbelievably, is a car. And we're going to get coffee. I'm Adam Cavalier, the voice of the Eagles, alongside D-line coach Johnson Jameson. Johnson, uh, last year at this time, you were a fairly new father and made the grand mistake of mixing coffee and bang. I'm proud that there are no uh, such props uh, to be guys. had in the vehicle. Unless you've got smuggled something in your shorts pocket, I, and I'm unaware, which I wouldn't put past you. No, I'm a, I'm a one caffeine kind of guy now. We can't, you know, you start, you have a kid, you start realizing the fragility of life, and all of a sudden you're like, man, a thousand milligrams of caffeine a day is probably not safe. <laughs> you're, you're also shockingly, uh, you're, you don't have camp voice yet, which I, I guess speaks probably to the good for the Carson Newman defensive line. You know, uh, buy-in is at an all-time high. The effort, the togetherness across the board as a team is an all-time high, and so you don't have to get get too fussy with them. The uh, largely veteran room, I'd say that's probably a byproduct of that. I mean, pretty much everybody uh, who was on the defensive line last year is back, with the exception of that that Fox end position. How much has that played into? Uh, I suppose some newfound calm for you. You know, it's a. Uh, it's been great because those guys we've been together now for you know when when we did this last time i had just moved to the defensive line and and kind of they're learning new things we're learning each other and where this just feels more like a continuation of the journey and we've added you know some new freshmen and some new guys but we've had a core group to carry them the whole time so that's been a lot of fun uh jacory long has started uh 20 plus games in his career now jordan wilson is kind of trending to that and let's start with the defensive end Ja'Cory Long uh, has elevated himself to be on the player committee uh, what's he done to uh, lock down that starting end spot you know it, it's with Ja'Cory it's all about about the character that he's developed since he's been here he's such a great leader for us and and it's not just at football it's not just in the weight room right he's He's turned himself into an outstanding student, so he's achieving at a high level across the board. And then he's always been that, trying to be that guy, and he's really kind of hit his stride with how to do it. And, and he's really taken now the role of who can I bring along with me? Who can I help elevate to, to approach life the way that I am? So I've been very proud of him. This team obviously weathered through some storms in 2020 and 2021 due to COVID. Uh, but it feels like uh, you get the benefit of the backside. When Jaheim Wilson did his introduction, he introduced himself as a sophomore, and that's a kid who feels like he has been here for four yeah. years. Um, uh, Jaheim Wilson's that way. Jordan Wilson is that way, unrelated. You've got some guys who uh, haven't, who played a fair amount, but still have oodles of years of eligibility left how do you see the the wilson's i suppose in, in the middle and a max bryan another guy that's been around the block for a minute uh kind of taking their games to that next level uh with some bonus covid eligibility i suppose you know they they like you said they've been around and with what we do it's it's reps how how much can i do it how many reps can i get at it and you know jordan he's kind of the the you know, one of the elder statesmen in the room. He's a leader. He's a, he's a lot of times the voice of the of the unit. He did our devotional this morning at breakfast to represent the D line. So the, the guys have a ton of confidence in him. They believe in him. Uh, he's a technician, um, and, and he's going to lead. He does our pregame prayer. When he opens his mouth, everybody everybody shuts up. And then Jaheem, great to have him back. Um, you know, he, we, he went with us this summer. He had to, had to do some stuff academically uh, um, that he had to take care of with an internship. And so he's, um, but he's, he came back in shape. Um, he, he seems to be moving around at a different speed than I've ever seen him. And, uh, and, and man, so he, he, he brings that, that, that presence in there, big bodied guy. Um, those two are, are, are doing great at, at the nose spot. 
Um, you want me to keep hitting your noses? <laughs> you, got, you, you can see, yeah, you're, you're loaded. You're, you've got quite a few yeah. to talk And then, about. you know, and then here's another one that's been around forever, Justin Triplett. Yep. And he's he's at this point played every position but Fox. And, you know, he's <laughs> he's, he's, he's going to slide down there to nose. And uh, and that's that's three guys that that are gonna are gonna hold that thing down and and it, as a coach it's a great thing when it you can put anybody in the game and it really doesn't change the overall outcome. Yeah, you, 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 you segged into Justin Triplett before I could get there, but I mean he's one of the few on the roster who played back in 2019, and uh, I mean the way that time feels like it's flowing right now that feels somewhat unbelievable but you've got a guy that uh, he 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 had significant reps on that playoff run in 2019 uh how it's his last go around i think uh, <laughs> uh and that that will be the case for uh people who play for a couple more years uh do you get the sense that hey the air finality is approaching for him let's go out with a bang with my skill set yeah i think you know trip trip is a a consistent guy he's a he is a steady performer and and it, late in the year last year you know he started coming into his own a bit more and so excited to see him you know take that next step and and i know that it, it means a lot to him the program does and and from a leadership standpoint he's more lead by example right he, he speaks up when he when he absolutely feels that he needs to but he's a, he's a guy that, that we count on schematically the def defenses under larry slade your d lineman outside of that fox end position really don't put up crazy numbers now they get in position and as a result your mike linebackers your fox ends those guys you know put up the the numbers it really doesn't show up on the stat sheet outside of the team stats but yet the buy-in for all those guys feels like it is through the roof yeah they take a lot of pride in because we're going to work on striking those guys across from us cab that that's what they do right they they want to try to knock those guys back they love to get in that physical matchup and and they take a lot of pride in being the glue being the engine for, for for the defense and so I think you know now we've been working on hey guys you've got just as much of a right to make the play as that Mike linebacker does and, and so we've got some ways that we're going to be able to do that and, and they're excited about it. You know last year uh, when we did this your your coffee was just straight black yep. straight black coffee uh, and then you added your your add-on and to make the comparison I don't know that you'll you'll repeat that we'll, we'll, we're in the drive through line we'll find out here in a second uh, but there's something about just a straight black coffee that speaks very well to, I suppose, how the Carson Newman defensive line yeah, plays. It's, it's the workhorse coffee. <laughs> uh, I guess hot black coffee would be the workhorse, but if it's you hot, you got to let it cool a little bit. You got to sip it. I'm, I well, went into this last year a little bit. I think it, the black coffee, you can chug it down, you can get it done, <laughs> burn and, your throat, and get ready. <laughs> You know, I, every once in a while, I might get a, you know, if you're at the Dunkin', you get the soft top, ooh, you know, and let yeah. it kind of melt down in there. But most days, you know, it's just cold, still black and cold. A little cold foam like on top. Like my heart. That, that's great. That's, I, I'm glad that, that you haven't changed. That fatherhood over the course of uh, a year hasn't, <laughs> hasn't changed you at all. Uh, you got to be unshakable. <laughs> That's the thing. That's that the thing for the year. And, and you don't want to shake that cold foam. You just want to let it sit and then slowly, slow trickle, slow trickle down. Uh, uh, the, the defensive line, uh, again, kind of talked about it. Good Lord, veteran at end, tackle, and guard. Fox, less so. Uh, Trezel Giardini White, after starting his career in the Obama administration, finally graduates and, and uh, goes on. One of the all-time uh, great rush ends. Uh, frankly, after winning freshman defensive player of the year, transfers out. Holes at that position. And, uh, and three-year starter, Nick Owens. Yeah, and, and, and uh, 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 Cosida, or CSC, academic all-district guy, uh, one of the more intelligent players on the team. And we'll stop that thought there because it is time to order, but that's where we're headed. Uh, howdy. Hi. 
What are we getting today? Uh, cold brew, black. Okay. Large. Black. Medium, please. Ooh, interesting. Got first, it. first medium of the year. Uh, small or large? Oh, large. Okay. If that's oh man. The case. Um, can't, can't do a small. That's, it's mostly ice at that point. Uh, I'm gonna go with a large vanilla bean frappe for per tray lateral. Oh yeah, absolutely. Why not? Good choice. I mean, you might Those as well. Those quarterbacks. Yeah, no. they, they I like, should. They like that stuff. Just black and a large vanilla bean frappe. Yep. I probably should have saved that one for McKeithen's turn. Yeah. Should have saved it for McKeithen's turn, but it sounded good. I'm I'm very curious to know what McKeithen's coffee choice is. Going he to be. he told me. I, I, you can't reveal it here, obviously. He told me that that it, it's going to be interesting. Okay, it's going to be interesting. I'm curious to know. I I think he he's kind of in the the mode of a, a Justin Zimmerman, where it's not his primary drink, so we might be exploring. There you go. Thank you so much. He's a Celsius guy. Straight energy drink. Yeah. Straight energy. I, I, I'm, again, no, no change for you. Leonard Weaver, uh, he changed. Zimmerman changed. But Johnson Jameson, episode three, steady as she goes, minus, minus, the minus bang. pouring bang in. Yeah. And for that, we're all thankful. <laughs> yeah, I know uh, the players. So we're talking about Fox Ends. Uh, uh, lose three pretty heady pieces. Uh, where do you go at that position? Well, so right, we've got we've got a few answers. Um, Corey Clemson's another guy that's been in the program. Um, probably didn't didn't get featured as much as he would have liked to last year, but he, he's going to make an impact on the team this year. Um, you've got Fortune Woods that, that's been with us. Had to battle through some injuries. A special teams guy last year. He's he's bounced around. Um, at a few different linebacker spots, and I think we found a home for him at, at the Fox position. And then uh, we've got a new new addition, a graduate student, uh, Elton John Baptiste, um, and, and he's he's going to be another guy that, that's competing to for that starting role. Uh, how are they similar? How are they different from what you had in the program last season? Um, I think that that you know last year we we had a, a good mix, right? Yeah. You, you've got. You've got Frank Lee that does Frank Lee things. Yeah. Um, you've got Nick Owens that, that was going to be that, that good, consistent guy, playing the run, you know, doing some rush stuff, yeah. but, but going to always be right. And then Trey Zell come in on third down. And, and so I think I see similar, similar ways to get that skill set. You know, they've all got a, they're all a little bit more <laughs> multiple players. You know, I think they're, they're going to be able to do some things. I, I, uh, I've gotten to see Corey over the time, and then they call him uh, Turbo down there in the weight room, and and because he's a full speed guy, and he's going to go strike you, he's going to play hard, and then he can run and, and rush the passer. Um, Fortune, physical guy, um, learning a new a new spot yeah. for him. He's never done this before, but super coachable, and and the physicality is there, and then and then Elton. I, I, I've not gotten to see him too much. We're what practice three, yeah. um, but we spent the summer with him, and, and he's got some of those electric get-off tendencies that Trezell we saw out of him. So I, I think between those three, they're they're going to be up for the task. I think it speaks to the depth of the room that we're 13 and a half minutes into this thing, and just now bringing up David Alexander. I was I was I was sitting there I'm like man we got to go back to the ends yeah. because David Alexander is another guy that played in every game last year, yeah. big time contributor. Um, and, and you talk about transforming your body. I mean, you wouldn't recognize him walking no. down the halls at times, man. He's he's big, he's strong, and, and he's a guy that's that's man, he, you don't get too many words out of him. But he's there to work. He asks great questions in meetings. He, he's a guy that is another man. If you want to learn how to do the drills, watch David do them. He takes it very seriously. And I'm excited to see him. I think he's going to be one to, to take the next step um, in his performance. I mean, genuinely, we've spent this entire time, minus maybe 30 seconds, talking about Elton Jean Baptiste, talking about old heads. Yeah. Um, Newcomers again. I know it's early in camp, but uh, between transfers, freshmen, do you have anybody? Oh, oh yeah, this is this is good. We're, we'll hold off on that for a second. 
Again, I, we're doing the look test this year. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys have a good one. Uh, Thank you. This, I, I think I win the look test, but I mean, when you're just going straight ice black coffee. Uh, I ain't got time for that you, stuff. You, you, yeah, look at that. You know, what are you going to do with that? How do you do Okay, now what do you do with the rest of it? Well, do you like swirl it yeah, up? As you, it as, as you get down into it, you give it some stirs. I think that's the thing that I, I do enjoy about the 60 beans frap. Uh, it is coffee forward. It is, most places you go get a frappe, you're going to get hit with the sweet. Mm -hmm. This is a coffee forward uh, beverage, and that is the one thing that I appreciate. Um, so, freshman uh, transfers, who's somebody new? Again, no, it's early in camp, but who's somebody new that uh, before, gives you Before we get new, it's maybe a, a face that we hadn't seen appear in a while, but you talk about another guy that's that's made a transformation from the way they're approaching the game and approaching life in the weight room is Dedrick McClain. Oh, yeah. Right, we've seen him in games before. We didn't see him last year, and, and he's another one that's – that's really emerged, right? He's kind of benefited from some of that leadership and he's made made himself a commitment to, to being great. And he's one that's gonna play a, a, a big, big role as well. Um, as far as, as incoming freshmen, I think, you know, we've got a, we've got a few guys coming in um, that I'm excited to see, you know, kind of some, some effort guys that stand out that were with us during the summer. Guys, you know, just be, be ready for for Isaac Oglesby, Martavius Mason, uh, Jesse Combs, De'Eric Jackson, uh, very, you know, are some some new guys that that have, have shown some things. You know, they were here this summer, and so we got to see a lot out of them. Um, and, and they're 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 trying to figure out a way to, to get in the football game. I'd say, uh, based on the transformations in some guys' bodies, uh, Jeff Boschman, Ryan Henry have certainly put in some work with guys over the last. I don't know what six eight months fair assessment oh those, those guys are the, are the best in the business i mean the the they're i think they're a big piece of, of why the buy-in why the culture is becoming what it is because those guys they see the results they see that man i am faster i'm stronger and i'm a better player because of it um so it's been really cool to see that another guy not quite a newcomer but not seeing it as much action as Edward Verdry yeah. um, coming coming off injury got to play in a couple of games last year um, he's, he's back with us and is going to be another key piece to, to what we're trying to do I, I don't think we've ever uh, run the string out like quite like this coming back to the KSAC and we're still uh, talking about guys it feels like this might be one of the deepest rooms uh, that Carson Newman football has had, and I mean that all positions in, in some time, because I mean, yeah. these are all guys that are capable of contributing. I don't know that there's the the star power potentially of a Montel Presley or a Brian Bembry. It, it, might, it might be there, it just hasn't shown itself we'll yet. Uh, but there's a lot of reliable guys yeah that you have at your disposal those those guys all those names man they're gonna they're gonna be big contributors to what we do and man what a what a fortunate situation i find myself in as a football coach um, to have so many guys that can contribute and believe in each other right they love each other they play with unity and they play with great effort man that's our theme for our room is blue a little acronym belief love unity effort and, and, and they're trying to embody that every day, and I, I couldn't be more proud of them. Next year, go with orange and stick a few more letters in your acrostic, Johnson. <laughs> I'll work. I'm not, I'm not smart enough, Kev. Johnson Jameson, I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. Coaches, cars, getting coffee, season two, episode three in the books. Thanks for watching.